All right, so this is now finished. Let's see if it turned out at all. I used 0.2 layer lines, so this guy, the, sorry, 0.02 layer lines instead of 0.05, so the cook time, print time was a lot longer. And let's see here, body looks good, I think. Torso, arm, legs, claw. Looks all pretty good. Let's get them cleaned up. All right, now I'm outside doing a sun cure because I don't have my washing cure yet, but the details are pretty dang good. Um, how do I say this? Uh, just like the layer lines can be seen on the side here. So I'm not for sure this was the right way to do it, especially um, with settings. I didn't do what they said to do exactly. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Getting a six second cure time per layer was really a good idea. But otherwise, we can take that support out. His hand turns out pretty good. Uh, I can account on orcs anyway. Any blobs is just warts and stuff on orcs. Uh, they're kind of like that. You can see that his um, cloth here is kind of transparent, so that's interesting. Um, but again, you can see the layer lines on the side right there. This was printed like this. Um, and there was some weird blobbiness at the base, so if you either file that down or just add enough of these, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the claw turned out pretty good. Which way did this one print? Uh, I think it printed like this. You can see the layer lines right there. Um, yeah, this thing looks pretty great otherwise. The bottom's a little messier, but again, with orcs, you can get away with saying that it's just kind of how they are. So here he is, not put together. But you can see his stance. Unfortunately, this one's arm kind of only goes in one position because of this hose here. He has to be out like this. Uh, I guess if you cut the hose and re-glue it or change the angle, you can make it work. Um, his claw here is nice and out. Uh, so those Space Marines that did not print quite right, I can cut them up and put them inside there. So he picked up a space marine, which would be kind of ridiculous, but still. Now, these guys over here seem to be okay. Um, here's the ogre that turned out really well. Let me set this off to the side. I just went over something. Okay, so these guys here turned out all right. This is a hobgoblin. Let's change the lighting angle here. There's a hobgoblin. Spiky bits everywhere. Need one more support to cut off. Actually, a few more. But otherwise, yeah, you can see his fur and his morning star. Um, what's that? Just a maze. I forgot what's what. Those are all confusing to me. But yeah, this one out pretty good. Goblin leader. He's still tacky. I think he needs to care a little more. But yeah. It's as good as his model was, which is only okay in my opinion. Um, I guess you can see layer lines on this one. This one is done on the normal um, 2.8 second cure time. Uh, but at 0 0.05 layers instead of 0.02. I'm going to let him sit over there for a little bit. Um, this, what is he? Orc Barbarian, I think is what the model is called. Turned out pretty well. You can see the skull on the side here. It looks pretty good. Beaten up blade. You can see all the details in his sword and on his pants. I don't know why they'd be there, but they are. Uh, those are not not cuts for me. Cuts for me would be white. Because resin scratches. 
Now, whenever I printed him out, his blade is a little floppy and there's still a little bit of flex to it. I have read that this resin flexes a little more than others. Um, they say it's ABS like quality. I haven't actually messed with ABS yet in FDM printing, but otherwise, um, I think ABS is like Legos. So they do flex just a tad. Now this guy was messed up ever so slightly. His sword didn't print. So that's not a real slight mess, but I made him a little bigger than last time. Last time I put it on a FDM, he looks pretty cool, but his head looks so small. And it still looks small, but proportional. He's as tall as the other miniatures. Miniatures are weird about proportions. My friend was complaining about that. And this, um, I guess he's a hobgoblin. War goblins. Let's hope his sword is hardened some. Yeah, you can see his details here are pretty good too. So orcs, hobgoblins, bugbears, all printed out now. Uh, these are D&D style. This is 40k and he is whatever I need him to be. Yeah, some pretty good results. The uh, samurai decided to re-cure him. Actually, full cure him. You can still see through it though, so that's interesting. He did sit for a long time inside, so that probably did not help. His sword here, I think, is not gonna work out. It's too floppy. I don't know what to do about that. It's so thin. Maybe a different material. But yeah, here are the models.